Movies have become an event now, like going to a theme park for me and the family. Each ticket is $12. There's no matinee price. If you go at three in the afternoon, it's the same as going at 7 p.m. You still pay $12 a person. I have a wife, two kids, and myself. And I have the Regal Pass. That's the theater chain here, Regal. They, they screw you over because they're basically a monopoly. There's like three theaters by me, all Regal, all the time. You have to pay 21 bucks a month. Good deal for one person. I mean, I see, I see a few movies a month, which I do. I'm making up. It's like they're paying me. However, once you bring that family, <laughs> you're paying. You're paying dearly. So when Doctor Strange 2 came out, the whole family wanted to see it, of course. And we're going to the theater. It's an event, right? It's a fun time for the whole family. $40 later, we're in the theater. Got to get a large popcorn. Got to get a soda. I mean, I'm dropping $60 on a Marvel movie because fuck me, right? We sit down in our assigned seats. The theater's probably about 80% full. Family right in front of me. Family to the left of me. Regal Cinemas must have something in their contract with movie studios where they will show, at minimum, 35 movie trailers. Because that's how much I average when I go to these goddamn things. And how many times do I have to see that Downton Abbey trailer before I want to take a gun and swallow it? Which reminds me, I have a Downton Abbey rant coming up, so make sure to subscribe here. After witnessing the same trailer I've seen about 50 times now, a new one comes up. One I wasn't even expecting. I guess I was out of the loop on the news. Avatar 2 hits. Amazing. I had no idea it was coming and I'm a fan of Avatar. I'm, I'm one of those people that defends it and thought it was a good movie and uh, I'm happy that there's more being made. James Cameron is a god amongst mere men. Anyway, the trailer fires up, but alongside of it, two phones kick in. Now these gentlemen were already on their phones in previous trailers, but they had put them away for a while. But it's like they were using a bro version of Morse code, douche code we'll call it. And they decided now's the perfect time to really piss off this guy who loves movies and dropping a bunch of stupid money to see another MCU flick and hopefully escape the real world for a couple of hours. I cannot enjoy this Avatar 2 trailer because Dumbass 1 and Dumbass 2 have the brightness on their phones up and the guy's right in front of me and the other guy's like three seats that way. They both have a family with. So clearly they didn't give a shit about going to this film. They just had to appease their women and their kids and they're just gonna sit there and go on their stupid ass device while the movie trailers fire up and oh also the entire film of Doctor Strange they were on their phones for. I can't let it go. I refuse. I paid a lot of money for this experience. It says all over the screen, stay off your phones! I politely lean forward and say, excuse me, sir, you need to shut that off now. He turns to me and says, oh. And then he turns and just drops the brightness down to 10% and continues to be on it, thinking this is the solution. I'm not getting off this thing. I refuse. I will be buried with my phone. I then turn over to this jackass and I say, get off your phone. He looks at me, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Puts it like this, it's at full brightness. He doesn't even give me the courtesy of dropping it. So I just see a white outline around where his heart probably used to be before he ripped it out. Sweat is beating down my face. I am furious right now. I turn over to my wife who's like, Avatar 2. And then I turn to my son who's like, Avatar 2! And then I turn to the jackass on his phone and the other one who's brought it full bore turned towards me and the sun itself grazes the side of my eyes. I can't enjoy this! Not even James Cameron himself could have reached down from the clouds and pulled me out of this hell I was in. It was inescapable. So the trailer for a movie that's been hyped up for like a decade finally drops and I have it ruined. Going to a film opening night by people that are supposed to, I guess, like movies? Maybe? Probably not anymore. At this point, I'm tempted to go to the front desk and ask a manager to have them get off their phones. But what's the point? Because as they're on their phones, I see people in the front row. Like a lightsaber. 
it comes up. Full brightness. Checking out the phone. The movie is starting at this point, and now it's it's like fireflies all around the theater. Oh, you won't believe your eyes. It's like 10,000 fireflies directed right at my eyes. So I did the only thing I could do. I submitted like a little bitch. I had already asked them to stop. They didn't. I know that further requests are going to go unheeded. I know that going to a manager will bear no fruit because I'd be tattling on 10% of the audience at this point. Um, and they'd know I was the one that did it. So, I bent over, I took it. But I believe somewhere out in the multiverse, things were different. I picture Doctor Strange Adam sitting in the theater, and these two yahoos are on their phone. I then open a portal, and I punch through the portal with the other end inside the guy's phone. So I go, and his phone goes, and my fist comes out, breaks his fucking nose. But then I continue to punch. Teeth go through his brain, out the back of his head, and he falls forward. The kids are like, ah, daddy! But then they start eating the brains. Because in this universe, people enjoy the taste of brains like zombies. So with that knowledge, I cast another spell, making it look like the guy across from me that was on his phone has his brains oozing, palpitating, giving off those pheromones that these little zombie kids like. They look over smell it and like ravenous dogs they hunt in a pack scurrying over the chairs jumping on top of them ah! onto the guy's head biting in ah! Ah! he falls backwards as dozens of kids dog pile on top you see blood and guts innards flying out and I just sit back and watch it unfold. In another version of the multiverse, I tap the guy in front of me on the shoulder and say, hey, bub, mind shutting that thing off or am I gonna have to do it for you? He turns around and punches me. <laughs> Breaks his fist on impact. <laughs> My blades retract. Wait, does retract mean come out or go in? Retract, I don't know. But the blades come out of my fist because I'm Wolverine here. I'm Logan. <laughs> Pull it out. The guy's hands are bleeding. He's got three strikes through him and now he's out. <laughs> I throw an elbow, bust his jaw wide open. I then take the blades. <laughs> Daddy! <laughs> And I just slice through their necks too because they're gonna turn out to be pieces of shit just like him with no respect for the people around them. They drop to the ground like lifeless sacks of shit. The wife starts to run away. I let her go. I feel bad for the relationship she's been in. Hopefully she'll find what she's looking for out there. I know what I'm looking for and it's that dirt bag next to me. I Wolverine Logan sprint into a full bore adamantium rage. <laughs> 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 More phonies get up and come after me. One guy comes right at me. I cut his head right off and then I kick the head. It goes soaring into another person. And then like making a kebab, I take the blades through both heads and pull them both off, showing the kill. Clean up. I'll you. And these experiences go on and on throughout the multiverse. People dying in beautiful, horrific ways. But in this one, in this one, nothing happens except for me losing out on 60 or 70 bucks and a couple hours because I didn't get the experience I paid for because jackasses, posers that go to the movies don't care about them. They're more interested in Kind of half watching, half scrolling. This is my life now. I don't appreciate art. I don't even appreciate craft. 
You can argue that the MCU movies aren't art, but there's definitely craft put into them. There's a lot of people that work on these films, every film across the board, love it or hate it. And believe me, I shit on a good amount of movies I don't like, but it's because I love films. So the ones that work for me work, and the ones that don't, I'm gonna talk about, because I'm fully invested in them. I buy movies, I see movies, I recommend movies, I talk about them. These assholes ruin them. And as for that Avatar 2 trailer yet, I still haven't rewatched it. That, that experience was taken from me, I'll never get it back. I could put it up on my computer, I could put it up on the TV. I don't want to. I'll wait. I'll wait at this point for another trailer to hit the theater. I mean, it's gonna, it's regal, it's gonna for sure. Or maybe I'll, I'll make it all the way to release in the year 2045 when it comes out and be pleasantly surprised by the outcome. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you have to deal with this bullshit all the time now? People on their phones not caring? Or do you just not go to the theaters anymore because it's not worth it? The price is way too high, the food is ridiculously overpriced, and the people are trash. Human excrement. I just don't wanna let it go. That's my problem. It's a, it's a pastime of mine that I just cherish. And I realize it's not the same anymore, but once in a while, once in a while it still works out. And that's depressing. It's depressing to think that that's where we're at with the odds. All right, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. I post lots of movie related content all the time and hopefully I'll see you next time. In this multiverse, I'm guns akimbo. I have guns for hands. Hey, get off your phone, no? That was a grenade. It was very elaborate. It came out like a hatch in my arm. Uh, there's other videos to watch over here.